Hi, I am sure you know how important the light is for us, for plants, for our earth, I mean for life, for everything. Due to the presence of light, earth has got life on it. As we are talking about light, the first thing we have to remind about the source of light. What do you think about the source of light? At first the sun, the fire, the electrical bulb and so on. Okay, if I ask you what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? What's your answer? If you are like a lot of people, you might go to the nearest window, open the blinds and let the morning sunshine warm your face. There's nothing quite like sun's rays to brighten your day and get you started off right. So can you imagine it? Exactly what would happen if there is no light? Can we live without light? Don't worry, watch this video till the end. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel The Inner Vision. Make sure you subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. The first problem that we have to face are visibility or sight. We are all well known with the important role of light to make anything visible to us. However, I make you remind it once more time. At first, we have to clear how does an object visible to us. Actually, when the light comes from its source and falls on an object, at first it is reflected by that object. If this reflected light comes to our eyes and only if this light makes an image on the retina of our eyes. The retina converts that light into neural signals and send these neural signals onto the brain for visual recognition. That's why we see that object. So it's your turn to understand it. If there is no light, you cannot see yourself. You cannot see your surroundings. You will not be able to watch this video not be able to see the earth, to see everything. Ultimately, you would be blinded. It's just not for you, it's for all who have the vision power. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is an important biochemical pathway involving the production of sugar, I mean glucose, from light, water and carbon dioxide, and releasing oxygen. It is a series of complex biochemical reactions and occurs in higher plants, algae, some bacteria and some phototrophs. Nearly every life depends on this process. The rate of photosynthesis is related to the concentrations of carbon dioxide, temperature and light intensity. It gets energy from absorbed photons and uses water as a reducing agent. So I am sure you have imagined that. Without light, it's impossible to occur photosynthesis. Now, the point is, what will happen if there is no photosynthesis? There are mainly four things occur. Lack of food. You have already known trees produce food with the help of photosynthesis. And maximum foods come from the plants. So, if there is no light, there is no photosynthesis. So, there will no production of food. Lack of oxygen. Oxygen makes up roughly 21% of the Earth's atmosphere, but you probably know that already. What you might be surprised to find out? However, is that only half of this oxygen is produced through photosynthesis in trees and other plants on the land. The other half is produced in oceans by microscopic marine organisms called phytoplankton. So, I expect that you probably have understood it easily. That if there is no photosynthesis, there is no production of oxygen. Although there is some bacteria that produces oxygen without light. But this process is less productive. Life and plants. So without photosynthesis, trees cannot survive and they will die within a short time. You already have known how important the oxygen is for us, for our life to survive. So without food and oxygen, we cannot live at all. Fire would be meaningless. We all know well it's needed oxygen to make a fire. But due to the absence of oxygen, it would not be possible to make a fire. That's why we would not be able to cook. Now if I consider that somehow without oxygen we survive for our time, then what will be happen? 
we will eat a lot of bacteria during taking food so we will get sick much more cold earth light is an energy and it keeps the earth warm if light would vanish earth quickly become a much more colder place but fortunately earth retains heat fairly well so humans wouldn't freeze instantly life would get much more difficult immediately although no one can know exactly what will happen Scientists estimate that the average global surface temperature would drop below 0 degree Fahrenheit within a week or so. It don't create any problem, but the problem is that the temperature would continue to drop steadily. Within a year, the average global surface temperature could dip well below minus 100 degree Fahrenheit. By that time, the top layers of the oceans of the world would have frozen over. Although the frozen top layers of the oceans would insulate the deep waters below, keeping them liquid for hundreds of thousands of years, they would eventually freeze as Earth moved towards a stable average global surface temperature of about minus 400 degree Fahrenheit. At that point, the atmosphere would have also frozen and fallen to Earth, leaving anyone left alive exposed to the harsh cosmic radiation that travels through space. visibility of moon and the other planets if it was already dark on our side of the world we had noticed the moon suddenly disappear why the moon does not produce light we only see the moon because the sunlight reflects off of it as the sunlight that was illuminating the moon disappears so would the moon the same would go for the many other celestial body in the sky such as planets which we see only because of the sun's reflected light chemical reaction in many chemical reaction light plays an important role but with the absence of light they cannot be occur light as a beam of photons light is photons the carrier of electromagnetic force if you are talking about visible light the above answers are good but if you are asking about all photons I mean all electromagnetic radiations obviously the answer is different let us take a short concept about the electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation is an electric and magnetic disturbances traveling through space at the speed of light it contains neither mass nor charge but travels in packets of radiant energy called photons or quanta examples of em radiation include radio waves and micro waves as well as infrared ultraviolet gamma and x rays some sources of em radiation include sources in the cosmos i mean the sun and the stars radioactive elements and the manufactured device em exhibits a dual wave and particle nature the only way all such radiations to disappear is for the electromagnetic force to disappear and if the electromagnetic force will disappear all matters as we understand it falls apart so there will have no atoms no molecules even not you not me which will be the end of the universe as we know it i hope you have enjoyed this video please like and share this video you can make a comment if you have so Bye and stay happy